Well, we're certainly looking for earnings to start to show some significant improvement in the second quarter, which will be, obviously, we're just, just on the cusp of entering. Um, and that's really backed up by the fact that we're starting to see some significant moderation in infection rates. We're seeing a lot greater diffusion rates in terms of vaccine deployment. Uh, the weather's improving. So certainly things on the vaccine front should be improving. That indeed is our, is our expectation. And then coupled with that, we've got very significant fiscal stimulus, which is coming into play, most notably in the United States with the $1.9 trillion program that uh, President Biden has been has been championing. And the Fed has clearly signaled that it's going to anchor certainly the front end of the curve. It hasn't spoken so much about the, the long end. That's going to be more market driven. But with uh, the front end of the curve being anchored, uh, growth picking up, a significant stimulus coming into play, we think that'll flow through into earnings. And that will indeed be the primary force that we think will drive markets higher. Hi, Tim. Chrissy and I were discussing earlier on the show that B of A sees uh, the 10-year yield in America rising up to 2.15 by the end of the year. Where do you at Goldman Sachs see it ending the year? Well, our forecast is 1.9%, so it's a bit more a bit, a bit more conservative perhaps than that uh, forecast you just mentioned. Uh, we started the year looking at about 1.5 by the end of the year. So, so we've raised our numbers as the bond market has priced in concerns about both inflation and also higher uh, risk premium uh, earlier than, than, than anticipated. Uh, we've done some work on that, by the way, in terms of how that affects valuations. And the rough rule of thumb is that a 25 basis point increase from 1.5 to 1.75 could be roughly equivalent to about a 5% compression in valuation. And a further 25 basis increase to 2% uh, would be equivalent to about a 3% further compression in valuation. So we bake some of that into our numbers. We have a 770 MSCI Asia Pacific Dix Japan year-end target, there's about 12% upside to that figure from today's level. So we still think that there's plenty to go for, especially against the backdrop where bonds are probably going to give you negative return this year um, and cash doesn't give you very much right. return either. So we think equities look to be uh, the better place to be.